In today's video, we are going to be doing another breakdown. So I start off with a teep into a right kick and then another kick. Then I double it up with a right kick into a teep again. And then I throw a jumping switch teep. Then I throw a head kick into a funky spinning kick. And then I throw a jab and then I try to set it up with my knee and he would have got the sweep if I didn't get held up. Then I throw a couple jabs and then I throw a teep into a left kick. Then I throw a right kick. I should be setting these up with my hands, which I'm not. Then I throw a right kick, right kick, right left kick. And then I'm kind of peppering him with my hands. But I should be setting these up. Move my head a little bit. Then I throw a teep. And then you go here into jujitsu and we start guard passing. And um, I need to work on this guard pass right here. But other than that, it was alright. But I need to go more to that side. And I need to um, put my hands under the armpit first. And this guard pass is pretty easy. You pretty much just put that leg up. Make sure you keep that other one into the butt. And then kind of pigeon toe right here. For your information and mine. I knew what I was doing. And I'm literally sitting there explaining it. And I'm like, why am I not doing it? So, yeah. And then push the leg down. And then this guard pass right here is pretty easy. You just put your knee in the middle of their butt and pretty much suck their hips to you. And then it's called the stack pass, which this one I kind of felt weird and I didn't think I was going to get it. I don't know why. I'm f sitting here wondering why it's not working. He was literally blocking my leg, my hips, so I could not get over. And then he stopped and then that's how I got the pass. There it is. And I need to keep my elbows tucked in more when I get into guard. Let's talk about these two gentlemen right here. As you can see, this guy in the blue is trying to hit a cross collar choke from guard. I'm not too sure. I can't see too good from what's going, but I'm, I, I think that's, let's, let's just assume he's doing that. And um, ig ignore what's happening in the background, please. Definitely, definitely ignore that. It's, it's, it's nothing. Ignore me getting armbarred in the background, okay? Let's, 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 move, on. let's move on with the video, okay? <laughs> This is why I turned their attention away from me, okay? Okay? And then right here, we go to check the kick, roundhouse, into a teep, check the kick, roundhouse, into a teep, and then a Superman type of punch. But you really have to make sure you bounce that roundhouse off to get that teep, and it sets that Superman type of punch up. And then I was just messing around with angles, and so was John, but I didn't really put them in the video. But these are really great drills to work, so if you want to work a drill, just work these drills if you have a partner to work with and you're at home. This is perfect drills to work. These are the type of drills that I love. Then right here, you evade the kick, and then you can hit a sweep, or you can even knee them in the back or teep them in the back. I don't know. I was just trying different things because the spine is legal in Muay Thai, and I was just hitting the sweep. If you don't know the sweep, I recommend learning it. And then in jujitsu, we were working the knee slicer pass. It took me a minute to get his guard broken, but eventually I did, and then I sliced past his knee, got gift wrap, and eventually took his back. Then we go back to the knee slice again, get the underhook, and then I get gift wrap. And then he tries to roll over, so I go into mount, and then keep that gift wrap, push it back over, so I can take his back again, and then eventually get the tap. And then he wanted to go at a full speed, and me resisting, so he put that arm down, I push it back, and he tries to pin it down, but I get it up, and then I lock in the triangle, and then boom, then he tries to lift me up after I lock it in, I reach under his leg. But right here, he tries to lift me up, and then I kind of push him over. And I did not get the tap because I let go, and I did not think he was going to tap. And then we worked a jab for five minutes, and then we worked some other things. Round one, fight. He gets him with the cross. He gets him with the right hook. Oh, he's going. He hits him with the cross. Oh, he's rocked. He's rocked. Oh, oh, the fight's going to be over. Then we go to some clinching, and I'm just showing this guy how to clinch, making sure that his feet are pretty much parallel so he don't get swept or anything and teaching him how to clinch properly and pull and knee and that's pretty much what it was and then just swimming and then i was doing it back to him and it was a pretty fun day